today we are uh, chatting with Nick Nolan of Northwest Florida Baseball. Nick, you doing all right? Yes, sir. Doing very good today. Good. Well, we just wanted to catch up and chat with you during uh, these quarantine times. Of course, hopefully we're coming out of them sooner rather than later, but uh, just wanted to walk through your personal journey. Of course, you had some big news uh, uh, committing to a, to a four-year uh, institution uh, here recently, so we'll get into that in a minute, but Let's just start uh, all the way back uh, when you first started playing baseball. I'm sure it was recreation ball, travel ball, that kind of thing. But what was it about the sport of baseball that uh, made you fall in love with it and commit to it fully? Um, when I was about two, my uh, my stepdad put a wiffle ball bat in my hand and I kind of just started playing around in the front yard. And uh, ever since then, I just kind of every day, I always, when they got home from work, I always wanted to go outside and play. So. Um, by the time I was four, when I was actually able to play the rec ball around here, I, uh, they signed me up and I started, started running and never stopped. Just kept on going with it. Was it, uh, one of those things coming up through high school, were you playing, uh, you know, every chance you got summer ball, fall ball, or were you a multi-sport athlete? I was, I was strictly baseball. So mm -hmm. every, every fall I was playing travel ball and then doing the stuff at the high school and then. Once spring rolled around, it was the high school season, and then as soon as the high school season ended, it was the summer ball. So it was it was a year round thing. Talk about uh, yeah, you know, your high school experience being uh, a nice full um, native, uh, just growing up in that setting. Because there's been a lot of good ball players come out of that area, and just the competition that comes out of uh, that world of of high school ball. Talk about uh, your experience there and and um, leading up to the recruiting process coming out of high school? Yes, sir. Um, it actually helped me a lot being around people that have, like, the same goals as you in high school because generally you don't really get that experience in high school. Like, once, like, people that usually go on to play at four years are always, like, the best players on their team. And um, I was fortunate enough to have people around me that were better than me and that helped push me and push everybody else. So it was it was a good experience because it kind of prepares you for what's to come um, leading up to, to college, basically. Talk about, you know, when you were in high school, you said you had, a, there were a lot of players around you that you said were as good or if not better than you. Uh, obviously every athlete uh, that moves on to the next level has that experience where they, they're kind of in a world where, Oh man, I got to step it up. If I'm going to compete at this level, was there a, was there one moment there in high school where that happened to you where there was one player athlete that you said, this guy's really good. If I'm going to compete against him, I've, I've got to step it up a bit. Um, yeah, I think, I think early on in high school, I had to figure that out for myself. Um, because, you know, everything throughout, throughout my, my whole baseball career, I guess you could say up to that point, I, I wouldn't say everything had been given to me, but like I, everything was just naturally came like, and I never really, like I was working at it, but like, it was just like a, like I was always good. So I just, it kind of came with like playing the sport. And I think like my freshman freshman or sophomore year I think I kind of sat down and realized like and talked to my parents about it and everything about like what I really need to be doing to like step it up if I really want this to be like my path and I I think that's when I really like the the switch clicked and like I started really getting after it and working out and stuff like that so I think I think when you see when you see where people are at and like where they're going, cause there were, I had some friends in high school that were committed really early through the process. And I was kind of like looking like, wow, like I'm not there yet. So like, what do I need to do to be getting to that point? So it's definitely eye opening. Go through your recruiting experience when you started uh, to pick up uh, or notice some interest from college coaches and you started to pick up some offers, go through your decision-making process. Obviously you signed and played for Florida Gulf coast, uh, your freshman year, but uh, leading up yeah. to that, what was, what was going on in your world and what um, led you to that decision out of high school? Yes. Um, so I started my recruiting, I guess you could say started off kind of slow. Like I played on one of the premier travel ball teams. And as I was playing, like everybody around me was kind of, going off the board really early like freshman freshman summer sophomore summer so it was like I was kind of like wow this is kind of crazy everything's happening fast but uh 
once I think it was my my summer going into my junior year, my sophomore year to my junior year, um, I started getting some interest from some schools and stuff. And um, I was just kind of taking it as it was and just kind of enjoying the process. And then through the fall, um, we had that fall. So it would have been my junior fall of junior year of high school. And I was going through and I took, I took my visit down to Florida Gulf Coast that um that fall when we had a tournament down in fort myers and i kind of just fell in love with it um really like the coaches and everything so i kind of just figured why wait so i just went ahead and made that decision and just took it and ran with it and then ended up going there for my freshman year you obviously had uh, opportunity to play at schools like New Orleans College of Charleston, which I worked at College of Charleston for a year, so I know how fun uh, that would have been for you. And then South Alabama and Mobile, uh, and then you combine that with Fort Myers, man. You had you had a lot of cities with a lot of uh, a lot of extracurriculars going on around there. You could have chosen. Yes, sir. Um, yes, talk- I was. I was fortunate enough to be able to have that opportunity. It was it was a good recruiting process out of high school for sure. Sure. Uh, going into your freshman year, you, you made uh, seven appearances for Florida Gulf Coast. Talk about your first college experience. I mean, playing college baseball for the first time uh, when you took the field for the first time or stepped in the box for the first time. Did you kind of have an experience there? We're like, wow, this is this is the next level. This is what I've kind of been working for. And I'm here. Yes, uh, it was definitely um it was actually opening weekend, like the second day of opening weekend. And I was like, I always thought that like, you know, you put all the work in and everything and you'll just be able to trust it and just be confident. But man, once you get in that box for the first time, you kind of black out. Like, it's just so surreal. Like you just don't like everything speeds up around you and you're just like, you're trying to calm yourself down. Cause it's, I mean, it it's just all it's just a testament to all the hard work that you put in and it's like it's finally real everything you've been working for so it's definitely it's definitely eye opening experience it's it was it was awesome and then you make the decision uh, to come back home and uh come back to northwest florida state and uh, uh coach martin doug martin told me that uh, you know he wanted you out of high school you chose to go division 1 florida gulf coast a lot of kids make that decision but then you you made the choice to come home and uh, go to Northwest Florida. Uh, talk about that decision and, and what led you to that and, and how that's kind of helped you uh, uh, build on uh, your progress as a, as a player uh, and a, a student. Absolutely. Um, I think um, after my freshman year, uh, I didn't play a whole lot and um, I was really disappointed in that. So I kind of had to, uh, find myself again a little bit and I knew I broke my hand at the end of my freshman year so I was just kind of lost like in that term like I didn't really know what I was gonna do and like it was a lot of waiting around for like a whole month and then I finally made the decision to leave and I just knew that coming coming back here was going to be the best thing for me because I needed to get my feet under me again and really find myself as a player and get the at bats and get the playing time to really develop and get better and um after I got home from summer ball we got running right here and uh it was honestly the best thing for me if I wouldn't have done it I don't think I'd be where I am right now in this position just because I I had a lot of trouble with my confidence after my freshman year just because like you kind of start to question yourself and stuff like that so when I was when I came back here and really just got rolling and started focusing on like the little things I think it helped me a lot and the coaches obviously helped me so much with just finding myself again and doing all that so that was the best thing I possibly could have done and it certainly paid off you know signing a division one scholarship is uh is really really tough to do and for you to to do that come back home excuse me to northwest florida state and then now commit to another division one uh baseball program uh in troy uh, which you just announced uh, not long ago uh, is really a testament to your work ethic and and kind of how uh, hard you have have worked to get where you are. Talk about that decision and uh, your excitement level going to Troy. Yes, sir. Um, 
I I kind of knew like <clears throat> that that was where I wanted to go just because it's close to home. It makes sense for my family, and there's a lot of ties through Niceville, and just I, there's a lot of familiar faces there, and um, I just think that it was it's going to be a great fit for me just because I'll have the opportunity to go in and work hard and try to win a job. So I, I'm excited and um, I don't think there's any more that I could ask for in that. Uh, uh, obviously, Niceville native Drew Frederick uh, there now being one of the names. Um, and they've certainly had several other uh, Niceville area student athletes at their uh, athletic programs there. And I'm kind of biased because I'm a Troy grad, so uh, I have to make that known, but I think you, I think that's a great fit for you and uh, certainly a good program. Um, is there one memory that you'll take away? Uh, not necessarily just from Northwest Florida, but uh, just, uh, you, you know, your journey in general, one memory that stands out in your baseball career so far. Um, hmm. Hmm. It's hard to say. Um, Northwest just because we didn't get to finish what we started. Sure. Um, I think that, that that's tough. Um, I think for me personally, I think it would be uh, this past summer just because I, I, I dealt with a lot of adversity coming out of school mm -hmm. and um, with my confidence and everything. And I started out really, really bad in summer ball. And there was just, there was one day that I, I was just like, this isn't going to happen anymore. Um, I'm not, I'm not doing this. And everything turned around for me since that particular day. But um, as, as a team, I would say either my freshman year, we, we clinched the regular season title and dogpiled, which was, <laughs> which was an unreal experience because you, you know, there's a lot of hard work that goes into that and it's not, it's not an easy thing to do. So either that or, maybe winning the district championship in high school because you also work, work really hard to do that. Well, you obviously didn't have the, the year that uh, you wanted to in terms of finishing the season out. Uh, you batted 296 in the 22 games that you got to play, 11 RBIs, 19 runs, scored five stolen bases, certainly putting up uh, solid numbers. Just walk us through that experience, hearing the news that the season was going to be – um uh canceled uh and that was going to be it for a lot of guys like yourself sophomores who you're, you're not you're not going to play another junior college game yeah um so we were everything kind of came out in 48 hours everything happened so fast but uh we heard the news about the nba season like the day before we played and we're like all right well that's whatever like it's not that big of a deal um and then everything progressed so fast within the next 24 hours. And we were actually uh, about to leave for Pensacola. And Coach Martin, uh, uh, we had a team meeting at the locker room. And he I was like, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. But as of right now, like, the season's going. So let's just take it one game at a time and, like, enjoy it. And, like, so the whole bus ride over there, we were kind of thinking about it and everything. And then right before we were hitting batting practice and, came out that they canceled Omaha and they canceled all the spring sport championships and everything in the NCAA uh, basketball tournament. So then everyone's like, okay, well, there's no way that we're going to, that we're going to keep playing. And then, so we played that game. And then the next morning we had a meeting with the president and they were like, they suspended it for two weeks. So then we were like, all right, well, we'll play after two weeks. And so everybody kind of had their hopes up, like, we're going to be able to finish this. And then, like, within two days, they texted out again and was like, all right, well, it's another two weeks on top of those two weeks. So then we're like, okay, well, let's let it happen. And then soon enough, they canceled the whole thing. And we were just kind of like, it was kind of a lot of uncertainty just because, you don't really know what's going to happen. Like you don't know about eligibility or like if you, this is it, especially for guys like me and Leighton and people like that, that were uncommitted. So everything was still up in the air and you have no idea what's about to happen with this. So you kind of just kind of just trust the process and you're just waiting around. The coaches are telling us everything will be all right. Like, you know, everything's going to work out. So you're just kind of 
sitting around. It's devastating just because, you know, we had a really good team this year and we were really excited to see what we were going to be able to do, especially starting out as good as we did. But um, it's, it's tough news with the way life goes. Well, very good. Well, I appreciate you chit-chatting with us. Of course, Nick Nolan, Niceville High School, um, uh, former Niceville High School player and uh, Northwest Florida baseball player, committed to Troy. And uh, we wish you the best of luck, and uh, we'll hope to see you soon. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.